such a good question and something that I contemplate on when I'm looking at a patient and I commonly counsel them on when we're talking about their upper eyelid or brow region. When we think about the ideal brow position, there are gender norms. So in general, for a female face, a female brow, you want the medial part to be lower than the lateral part. It gives you more of that arched appearance. Whereas for men, men can have a flatter brow and look more natural. In terms of height of the brow, ideal position is above the orbital bone. So if you feel here, you can feel this bony ledge or step off, and ideally your brows are above that. Now every person is so different, and so occasionally I'll ask to see a picture of a patient from years ago. Some women tend to just have lower brows, like even in their 20s. If the brow is an adequate position, I don't necessarily recommend a brow lift in addition to the facelift or upper blepharoplasty, etc. Upper eyelid blepharoplasty is where we just work on the skin. If you have excess skin right here, that's what's removed during an upper bluff. Another thing we can do during an upper bluff surgery is reduce the fat or some of the bulging that can occur here. Now again, every patient is different. Some people have really full eyelids and so they benefit from reduction of fat and skin removal. Other people may not have much fat bulging forward at all and in that case I don't want to overzealously take fat because then they can look hollowed and unnatural. And so I just remove skin in those cases.